Open Broadcaster Software Studio, or OBS Studio, is a free, open source streaming and recording program. With so many different ways to capture video, recording and output settings can sometimes be overwhelming and confusing. So in this video from Envato Tuts Plus, we'll take a look at how you can choose the best options for high quality and stable screen recording video creation while keeping your file sizes manageable. To get started, open the settings panel in OBS Studio, which you'll find at the bottom right of the screen. You'll see a few different options, but click video. You'll see you can set capture size, output size, downscaling and frame rate. The base canvas resolution determines the area you want to record on your screen in pixels. This can either be the full size or a smaller section of it. You can choose from preset options or type in your own dimensions. The output scaled resolution is the size of your video, for example, 1920 by 1080. If you record in a higher resolution, you can downscale it later, but choose your downscale filter wisely. Langsos or Lanchos will give you a smoother result and so is great for screen recording, but Bilinear, for example, would be sharper, so it depends on your needs. The last option is FPS, frames per second. This should fit the frame rate that you want to output your final video at. If you're unsure, 30 is a good option to choose. Regular video tends to be 24 frames per second. Back to the left hand menu, click on output and we'll take a look at setting the video recording parameters. By default, these are set to simple. There might be some settings that you'd like to adjust but aren't available in default mode. So use the output mode drop down list to select advanced. You'll see that three tabs have appeared with some further options. Start with the recording tab and use browse to navigate to where you'd like your videos to save. Next, change the recording format from FLV to MP4 and make sure that encode is set to use stream encoder. When you change to MP4, you'll see that a warning appears at the bottom of the screen explaining that your recording can't be paused and will potentially be unrecoverable in the event of power loss. If this is a likely scenario for you, you might consider choosing MOV or MKV instead. You can leave the other options at their default settings. Select the streaming tab and change the bitrate to 12,000. The higher the bitrate, the better the quality of video. A high bitrate is good for screen recording, but not necessarily for streaming, as people on lower bandwidths would struggle to watch. Under CPU usage preset, change it to ultra fast and make sure that X264 encoder is selected. That's how the program decides how best to compress your data. As with all these decisions, it's a trade-off between quality, file size, and ultimately what your machine can handle in terms of processing. You can leave the other settings at their default. There's no such thing as best settings for all scenarios, but we can look at the best options for most cases. And hopefully the settings that we've covered today will help get you on your way to quick and easy screen recording in OBS Studio. Thanks for watching and we hope you'll join us for more tutorials here at Envato Tuts Plus.